do you know that sometimes god is also under threat from somebody yes god is also under threat like we are sometimes from somebody all right so today we will discuss who is that who threatens god and why does he get threatened all right there you go we are continuing with the teachings of queen kunti from the shrimad bhagavatam first canto 8th chapter 31st verse all right so if you have not watched the earlier videos in this playlist then please watch otherwise you may not understand what is going on here and yes if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then you could subscribe somewhere down and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know about bhagavad gita all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and yes if you want a consultation from me regarding any area of your life then you could go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website so now shrimad bhagavatam first canto 8 chapter 31st verse we'll read the text and then we will read the translation and purport so queen kunti is speaking about lord krishna here of course so the translate the text is gopi adaye twa कृषाग्यति दामत्वा यते दर्शा रसु कलिल्लांगजना समाब्रिक्षम वक्त्रम नीन्या भया the word is used here भया भया भावनाया स्थितस्य समाम विमोहयंति भीर अपि यद विभेति the translation is as follows my dear krishna Yashoda took up a rope to bind you when you were when you committed an offense and your perturbed eyes over flooded with tears which washed the mascara from your eyes and you were afraid though fear personified is afraid of you should i repeat you were afraid though fear personified is afraid of you this sight is bewildering to me so the purport is as follows here is another example of the bewilderment created by the past times of the supreme lord the supreme lord is the supreme in all circumstances as already explained in the previous verse i mean Here is a specific example of the lords being the supreme and at the same time a plaything in the presence of his pure devotee. The lord's pure devotee renders service unto the lord out of unalloyed love only. Point to be noted here. And while discharging such devotional service the pure devotee forgets the position of the supreme lord. Point to be noted. that means when yashoda mai is uh, running after krishna she is not thinking that krishna is god she has forgotten although she still knows it <laughs> the supreme lord also accepts the loving service of his devotees more relishably when the service is rendered spontaneously out of pure affection without anything of reverential admiration so when there is love he accepts it Generally the lord is worshiped by the devotees in a reverential attitude but the lord is meticulously pleased when the devotee out of pure affection and love considers the lord to be less important than himself amazing <laughs> the lord's past times in the original abode of goloka vrindavan are exchanged in that spirit The friends of Krishna consider him one of them. Yes, like Madhumangal, Subal, Sudama. They think that oh, Krishna is just like one of us. <laughs> they do not consider him to be reverent, to be of reverential importance. The parents of the Lord, who are all pure devotees, consider him a child only. The Lord accepts the chastisements of the parents more cheerfully than the prayers of the Vedic hymns. Like Vedic hymns, for example, Vishnu Sastra Nam is there. So, Krishna likes the chastisement of his parents more than he likes the Vishnu Sastra Nam and other chants of the Vedas, because 
that chastisement is out of love which nanda maharaj or which was vasudev or which devaki or uh, which yashoda mai offers to him similarly he accepts the reproaches of his fiancies more palatably than the vedic hymns is talking about the gopis here when lord krishna was present in this material world to manifest his eternal pastimes of the transcendental realm of golok vrindavan as an attraction for the people in general he displayed a unique picture of subordination before his foster mother yashoda so this means that uh, he was always very submissive to whatever his mother would say the lord in his natural childish playful activities used to spoil the stoked butter stocked butter of mother yashoda by breaking the pots and distributing the contents of his uh, contents to his friends and playmates including the celebrated monkeys of vrindavan wow celebrated monkeys who took advantage of the lord's munificence so that means uh, krishna would you know distribute the butter and the yogurt and all these things which uh, mother yashoda would very carefully make for him to whom to his friends and to the monkeys wow so they took advantage of the lord's munificence that's what is said here mother yashoda saw this and out of her pure love she wanted to make a show of punishment for her transcendental child she took a rope and threatened the lord that she would tie him up as in generally done in the ordinary household so in india in villages then if somebody does some pranks or you know a child is very naughty then the mother will come and say that you know next time you do this i'm going to tie you to that tree you're finished i'll rip you apart <laughs> seeing the rope in the hands of mother yashoda the lord bowed down his head and began to weep like a child and tears rolled down his cheeks washing off the black ointment spear smeared about his beautiful eyes the kajal which is there in his eyes so when he was crying you know that kajal came out this picture of the lord is adorned by kunti devi because she is conscious of the lord supreme position now somebody may think that kunti devi is somewhere uh and how does she know about these past times because uh, these past times happened in vrindavan and kunti devi was not there but that's her greatness even though she was not there but she still knows <laughs> now only she knows and krishna knows how she knew it but the fact of the matter is she knows everything this picture of the lord is adored by kunti devi because she is conscious of the lord supreme position he is feared often by the fear personified we fear somebody yes <laughs> but even that fear is fearful of god that is why they say that when you are conscious of god then you can never be fearful he is feared often by the fear personified yet he is afraid of his mother who wanted to punish him just in a ordinary manner kunti was conscious of the exalted position of krishna where else yashoda was not point to be noted kunti was conscious of the exalted position of krishna whereas yashoda was not so when uh, kunti devi is saying uh, pray offering this prayer she she knows who krishna is he is the he is god ultimately but yashoda mai when she was tying krishna then she was not thinking that oh you know this is god <laughs> therefore yashoda's position was more exalted than kunti's wow that's the thrust of this video therefore yashoda's position was more exalted than kunti's confusing <laughs> that means although yashoda did not know that he is god or she forgot <laughs> but she still is higher than kunti devi why even though kunti devi knew that krishna is god why because she has love for krishna 
Yes, and that is beyond anything else. Now, higher or lower doesn't mean that Kunti Dev is inferior. It doesn't mean in that sense. It it means that uh, the love which uh, Yashoda Mai has for Krishna is beyond everything. All right. So in that sense, it is said here that she is exalted than Kunti Devi. Mother Yashoda, God the Lord as her child and the Lord made her forget altogether that her child was the Lord himself. So it is by Krishna's Maya, Maya only, the Yoga Maya as they say, the divine potency that Yashoda Mai forgot that he is God himself. Because then the sweetness cannot be there. If a mother thinks that, you know, oh, my child is God, you know, then there can't be much. If Mother Yashoda had been <coughs> conscious of the exalted position of the Lord, <coughs> she would have certainly hesitated to punish the Lord. How can you punish God? <laughs> but she was made to forget this situation because the Lord wanted to make a complete gesture of childishness before the affectionate Yashoda. This exchange of love between the mother and the son was performed in a natural way. And Kunti, remembering the scene, was bewildered. <laughs> and she could do nothing but praise the transcendental filial love. Indirectly, Mother Yashoda is praised here for her unique position of love, for she could control even the all-powerful Lord as her beloved child. Oh my God, it's a very strong purport. So, what's the conclusion of this video? The conclusion is very simple that nobody can uh, threaten God. God uh, removes all fears. But when somebody like Yashoda is filled with love for him, then apparently what happens is he arranges the situation in a way that to make the pastime more sweet, to make to make the pastime relishable for that devotee and for others, what he does is he will act in a way that it appears that he is very fearful because he cannot be fearful, but he still. <laughs> so there's this contradiction which is resolved in love. All right, so that is what is the trust of this video that. Kunti Devi is a glorifying Mother Yashoda indirectly and she is acknowledging the exalted position of Yashoda Mai because she is very elevated and because she has the highest level of uh, love for Krishna which nobody can have. Alright, so that is it and we will continue the next verses in the next video. Alright, there you go. If you are new then please like, comment, share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me go down to the link below okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and you will get rid of all fear okay thank you very much